Welcome back, everybody. It is 6:40. We like to highlight Indiana Grown here on Saturday mornings, and I've got John with me here to talk about uh, a big effort you guys are doing, based in Greenfield but across the country here with Brandywine Creek Farms. Glad to have you in today. Thank you. Tell me about your farm first off, Brandywine Creek. I want to hear about it. So Brandywine Creek Farms uh, was started in 2015 with uh, just the small notion of seeing how many. Uh, just locally, who we could impact uh, that were suffering from food insecurity. So it all came from that desire then to help others, as opposed to making a profit or. or just Correct. Really I mean, we were we were we were just planning on doing it for one season. Uh, we had taken our for-profit farm and scaled it into uh, a lot of vegetables to to give away to people. So. And how did that turn out then? Your first season. It it was awesome. Um, it was a. Uh, it was a learning experience for everyone involved, but it showed us that the need was very, very real. And you've continued since then. Tell me what the plan looks like. How do you? How are you able to help uh, food deserts and food insecurity? Well, our, our primary mission is to address food insecurity through uh, local agriculture as well as making new farmers. Mm -hmm. So, uh, besides going into the city and uh, distributing food, we also help urban farms establish a. a a more productive uh, and intensive agriculture, you know, uh, the, using our methods. Um, Flanner Farms is a great example of mm -hmm. uh, the inner city and the rural coming together to to come up with a great uh, a great example of urban farming. It's good that you know that the education is such a big part of it as well, because obviously you want to be able to feed people in need, but then to help other farmers understand what they can do to help in turn, I'm sure makes a big difference as oh, well. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. It's just giving away, I mean, produce that you could, couldn't normally market because it doesn't look exactly textbook, uh, mm -hmm. you know, doesn't meet the grading system. You could provide that to, to folks who are in need. A bumpy, so. you know, piece of broccoli right, or something. Right. So then, what is that? So you distribute that out uh, through different agencies. I'm sure. Yeah. You so, work so, with so, them. so, so we we work with community centers uh, mostly: Edna Martin Christian Center, Flanner House, mm -hmm. uh, the Martin Luther King Center, um, and those folks have done the groundwork to to find the need mm -hmm. and. We provide the, the produce, so it's a great partnership. That's wonderful. So then what can folks at home do to help support you? Uh, obviously, you've got your setup there in Greenfields. Right. So, I, I mean, one thing would be to, you know, come out to our beautiful farm, uh, our rural farm. It's 22 miles from downtown Indianapolis, and, I mean, we have a nature trail. Hmm. Uh, we have an open-air farmer's market. Uh, where you can actually see the produce growing, and if you've never seen large-scale vegetable production, <laughs> since it is Indiana corn and soybean country, you can come out and see see how how the food that's that you get at the grocery store is grown. Where it all comes from. Right. And of course, the hardworking people who care about absolutely, it. And <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Want to make it happen? You brought some sampling here. Then I got to ask you as well. We've we've done some stories recently with farmers about the weather and how rainy it's been recently. Has that impacted you at all at Brandywine Creek? Absolutely. We, we're only 50% planted right now. Oh wow. Um, uh, the rain and then it will get hot. The ground gets hard. We have to rework it. Okay. Uh, my my 17 year old said that he uh, equated it to farming on the moon oh, because goodness. the ground would be so hard and oh. yeah so I mean we've we've actually lost uh, several thought we plant live transplants we don't plant seed okay and we get those May 8th and oh no and they weren't able to get in the ground no, oh, no. so God. we gave away as many as we could to okay, people but good. they are designed to go into a machine that plants them into the ground then to a transplanter so and we put were, them in right yeah. away so then this is the season then to really help your local farmers and also help stop food deserts and food insecurity in our state then by supporting absolutely Brandywine Creek Farms great absolutely we'll put this info up on our website uh, I will get to talk to you again next hour and I got to ask you why people call you the punk rock farmer so don't answer okay. that now I'm okay. asking you that in an hour we'll have to check in on that. Okay.